I think they both have has the same motor size but I don't know yeah looks like they have the same motor size here this is my Sima X5C I'm sorry this is my Sima X5C this is my MJX X600 Today I'm going to show you how to change the motor of the SEMA X5C and show you what the size of this motor and put it in here so if you have your sorry if you have your SEMA X5C motor burns you have no worry because it's very easy to open this thing let me show you First of all, I have to apologize. Uh, I put this sticker on my SEMA. Just ignore it, okay? The important thing is how to change the motor. So first, you have to move the propellers without moving this propellers guard. Use a Phillips screwdriver and remove it one by one. You can let the screw inside here so it won't be loose. Just be careful. Don't lose any screw from this quadcopter. I will not fast forward this video so you all can see how long it takes time for disassembling this quadcopter okay it's running 1 minute 35 second there is a screw in here you must remove the screw 1 2 3 4 5 5 times 4 it means you have to remove 20 screw and first you have to don't forget to remove this landing skit this is my extra antenna you can see how I put this in my other videos okay and this is the screws that covered by the landing skit Don't forget to keep the screw in the safe place. Don't lose it. Don't lose them. One, two, three, four. And this is one, two, three. Okay, so I will give you a background music so you won't be boring watching this video. I hope I can finish this before 10 minutes. Because I don't like making videos more than 10 minutes. last arm and the time still running three minutes
okay and then just pull the bottom cover pull up the bottom cover just like this start from the arm and then to the center and make sure they all four are loosened okay so the screw is in at the bottom so be careful do not lose any screw so I drop one okay two so this is the motors let me take you a closer look now why my camera does, doesn't want to focus please come on focus okay so if you want to change this one if this one is burning you just have to pull this gear this tiny gear up 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 and the motor is coming up pull it out and then follow the cable to the this section and you can see this let me zoom it for you this is the place that you have to remove you have to solder this to pole and put the new one okay so what size let me make sure for you here the size if you can see this I don't know my camera can can it go to focus yeah this is two centimeters it means 20 millimeters 20 millimeters and the diameter is seven so this is the 720 motors motors you can buy any 720 motors solder it and disorder and solder it with the new one and then put it back through this hole okay so this is the protector for for this cable put it back like this and put the motor to the hole back and pull slowly slowly with you while you rotating this so the the gear the tiny gear will go perfectly like this and finish after you put that the new one you can back close close back this and watch the switch here okay the top one has the hole square hole and it for the switch so you don't have to remove the house the housing of the motors like this and put it again together careful okay like this so yeah it's very easy you can do it by yourself you don't have to send this broken motor of sima to the factory or any warranty or anything just buy the new one of the motors and you do the assemble and disassemble by yourself and finish now i can tightening the screw okay now the time is running it's eight minutes now I hope I can finish this before 10 minutes yeah this is depend on my speed it's not depend on the technique just a speed on how I rotate these screws don't go to tighten because you can break the screw house ok 
Okay, I remember I have loosened two of the screws, or I think this two, one, two, three. Oh no, there's one. Okay, okay, let me finish, let me finish and try to fly it just like before I disassemble. Okay, I found this one. It's running, running, time is running. Nine minutes, nine minutes. One, two, three. Four. Finish. Oh no, I dropped one. I don't know where is this oil. I found this oil. It's empty. No, it's been ten minutes now. Oh, I'm under pressure here. Okay, so it finished. And then I put back, I just put this battery cover, connect the battery, and then turn this on, waiting for the gyro. Okay, and turn on the remote controller, and back to fly. But I haven't put this propellers. So, guys, that's all, and I'm so sweating here. In here in Indonesia, the temperature is very hot at the night. This is at night, 11 o'clock. At least I can show you that I can finish the this am this assemble and assembling in only 10 minutes. So if I can, so do you. Sorry for my bad English and thank you for watching. Bye.